Okay, today we are talking about one of the grandmasters of the Shopify industry. I am talking about the most installed app in the entire ecosystem. So if you are looking to improve your conversion rate, average order value, reduce customer churn, or you simply want to find out how Privy can help you grow, then this video is for you. More specifically, in the next 10 minutes, we will cover what you get with Privy, how you can get started, how to create pop-ups and SMS campaigns all within your Shopify admin panel. So you can decide after this video if you want to use Privy and if Privy can help you grow your business. But of course, like every app review video, I want to touch on the concept first. And I want to touch upon the concept of owned marketing. It's a term that is used more and more these days, and it's because of the rising cost of, you know, paid ads. Basically, what is owned media? Well, it's any type of content delivery channel where you are responsible for creating and maintaining the content. It gives you complete control over the message that is delivered at no real additional cost. But Andrew, paid ads also give you control over the message being delivered. And you know, it's free advertisement. It's reviews so there you go two examples while that's true only owned media give you both of those advantages in one so in the end owned media is any channel that you are 100 percent the boss of hence the name owned media so paid ads obviously you paying so you're not really the boss there and the posts on your page for example your instagram of your facebook's page not all followers really see them only a fraction of them so again not really the boss there so you might wonder well what is an example of owned media so the most common examples are your own website because you own that your blog, your email list, and your SMS marketing. You decide how many people see your message. Often, if one person sees it or a million, it doesn't really matter that much in the cost. And when you do send to all, it's actually sending to all and not just on a fraction of all. Very important. So now that you know what owned media is and you start understanding like, oh yeah, there's benefits to owning your own marketing channels, really owning it, or I have to because I'm in one of the industries, how can I really go about this? And the answer to that is why we partnered with Privy. Privy basically has three tools in one app to help you achieve owned marketing. They make it easy for you to capture an audience and then maintain the interest of that audience with Privy Convert, Privy Email, and Privy Text. Privy Convert allows you to create beautiful pop-ups, flyouts, and other offers to capture your website visitors and turn them into email subscribers and first-time buyers. Remember, when you own an email list, that is direct money in the bank. Once you have their email, of course, you gotta kinda keep them entertained and that's where Privy Email comes in. This tool helps you grow sales by driving repeat purchases, sharing promotions, and recovering abandoned carts, which is obviously super important. And last but not least, and actually this has been recently introduced with Privy, you don't just wanna stop with email. You can also do text. Privy texts are used to reach customers directly on their phones, obviously through automated SMS. So through Privy, you can reach your customers directly through automated SMS messaging marketing. And just like email, you can do abandoned card sequences or you can send coupons or just say thank you to your most loyal fans. And frankly, that's a great way to do some brand building. And there is a reason why so many people, I think it's like 18,000 five-star reviews, give it five-star because it helps making you money. It, it, it helps owning your own marketing channel. So if you're like, okay, owned marketing channel, you know, it makes sense. I kind of need to own my audience. I can't rely on Facebook groups or something like that. I, I, I need email marketing. Um, and I need SMS marketing, it makes sense. I need to own my audience. And sure, this Privy app, you know, you know, it seems like a good place to start. How do I go about it, Andrew? Well, 
I am glad you asked because let me simply show first you're going to go to your Shopify admin and you're going to go to apps and then customize your store. You're going to search for preview and you're going to click install basically the classic app install. But the long story short, you're going to get to the preview dashboard that looks exactly like this right here. And this is the place where you can get an overview of your revenue, how many signups you have, the signup rate, the email revenue and their cart abandonment rates. They also give you some recommendations that you know is really quite useful. Now, before I break down each of these sections so you can really get an understanding of it, I just want to do a quick side note here that all of Privy's main feature exists in what they called plays. So when I refer to that, you're going to be like, okay, this it's basically read Privy's main feature read or watch because you're watching this while I'm reading this. This is confusing. Just remember that plays are different starting points that you can use to create a campaign. You can find it by clicking on plays right here. And by doing this, you will find everything from a website pop ups to free shipping bars and you know, basically the most popular thing. Now earlier in this video, I referred to the three features of the apps capturing emails, sending emails and sending text messages. I'm going to show you how to set that up so you can do each three of them. So let's start with Privy Convert. And this is actually where Privy started their journey as a pop up builder. And their email capture tool is simply one of the best in the world because they've been doing it for so long. So one of the most used feature of Privy is actually the Privy welcome discount pop up, you know, like, hey, welcome to the store. Here's 5% off. These pop ups, they come in tons of different forms that you can use. You, you can do the classic form that works for desktop or you can do a fly out that is really useful for mobile uh, or you can do the phone capturing ones um, for the SMS marketing or you can combine them to your liking. So you really have everything. If you have set up the welcome pop up, you should also considering doing the exit capture pop up. And this is triggered when the mouse leaves the screen. You know, there's an automatic pop up that says like, Hey, you know, don't leave just yet. Leave us your email address first. Um, really, really useful because again, your main goal is to build that email list. But you're not limited to the templates that you see right here, because if you can't find something, you can just create your own. Actually, let me just show you how that is done. Let's do the welcome discount pop up. You'll go ahead and click create just so you can see. Now, typically, we personally recommend that you give your customer some value for signing up and that might not immediately be a cash coupon. I talked about it in a video on like how to sell anything to anyone. I think I titled it a cheesy title, but the core concept remains. You might not want to come out with a discount code out of the gate. However, you do want to offer something so that you get that sign up. Then you're going to click continue and now you automatically load the mobile one. So you can see how it's going to look or you can pick what you want on the mobile version. Uh, I'm going to click on the desktop, but you can choose whatever works best for you. As you can see, it's a click to edit system. So it, it's really easy to make your own pop up exactly like you want. So just simply click what you want to edit and the left sidebar will change to allow you to edit that element that you just clicked. You can change this photo to anything you like, and you can also click on the text to change. I mean, you start getting the point here. Now, of course, there's more to a pop up than just a pop up. For example, if I put in my email, you probably want to send me to some sort of thank you pop up or just a confirmation that you've received my email. So that's going to be the thank you page, which, you know, pops right after you submit. And as you can see, this little tab right here, you can customize that one also. And this little tab will stay on your site. So if someone doesn't want to sign up immediately, they will have this on the side and they can click back later. You know, if they are like, oh no, actually I did want that offer because that brand does interest me. Where is that pop-up? Well, now they can just click right here. So there you go. That's part number one, the basic functionality of previous pop up and what the campaign is going to look like. If you click convert, you will see all the campaigns that you're currently running. Of course, when you're editing a pop up, you can not only change the design and the form fields, but you can also change the targeting settings. And that one is actually kind of great. 
What you can also do is you can decide when to show it, who to show it to, and how long you want to show it for. That way you can really personalize each interaction depending on the client. So if you click right here, when to show, you can show it after scrolling a certain percentage down the page, which is cool, but you can also show it when their mouse moves out of the browser and you can choose how often it is triggered. So I'm going to click on save right here, who to show it to, and you can also and you can also decide to only show it to certain campaigns or certain segments of people. This is getting some really precise, nitty gritty advanced stuff. One last thing I'm gonna note in the convert is yes, it does also offer like these free shipping bars on top and you can relatively easily set that up and that is going to help you uh, increase your average order value. As I talked about it before on this channel, acquiring a customer is usually really, really expensive. And so when you do have that customer to your site, you want to make sure they spend the highest amount that they possibly can. So by adding those free shipping bars starting from, you know, $20, you're going to ensure that your average order value is going to be, at least for some part of your customers, above $20. It's really useful. But of course, you're probably wondering, okay, now that I have their email, what should I do next? Or maybe even you're a step ahead of me and you have their email and their phone number. Well, we're gonna start with the email part and we're gonna look at the convert tool they have created. Two of previous emails that are widely used and that you should set up as a store owner is the welcome email and the abandoned cart email. And I'll walk you through those in just a second, but you can also find customers win back emails, which means reaching out to people who haven't purchased or visited for a while, which you know, can really be interested. You can also set up newsletters, purchase follow-up emails, which are sent after someone purchases and especially after they receive the product. For example, you can ask them for a review or a recommendation or things like that. So you really have a wide variety of things you can set up. But again, let me show you how to create one of these. Let's say the welcome email that's relatively important because it's going to set the tone to know what the user can expect. Are you gonna be one of those brands that just sends out a coupon code every two days and just hammer it? Or is your newsletter going to create a fantastic story and a wealth of information that people want to read? Well, the welcome email is going to set that tone. Let's see. So obviously the welcome email is sent out automatically once someone has subscribed. And it, like I said, it's kind of used to introduce yourself, at least in theory. A lot of people use it for different things. But you can choose a template because Privy got all of these different ones with different type of goals. Whether you're just trying to say welcome to our brand, connect with us, or check out our products, in this section right here, you will find something for you. And really, there's a lot of really, really cool ones as well that they have tried out and, you know, A, B. Like I mentioned, some brands really go pretty intricate in this because it becomes a storyline and a plot that makes you want to open up the next email. And so Privy can help you doing that by doing a welcome series versus just one welcome email. That's a cool a little extra. For the series, the app sends one out one hour after signing up and then 24 hours after the first email and then 48 hours after the second email. And you could simply click edit here and you can change each one of them. Now again, these are already designed with specific goals in mind. So this one, just like the welcome one. Okay, now another one that you should really have set up straight out of the bat is the abandoned cart email. So when someone abandons a cart, you can choose to do an email or a text message and we're going to show you how to do it in an email. So right here you see that you can add a logo, a very simple message and a section that automatically renders the items that were left in their cart, which, you know, obviously kind of use. By clicking on the settings here, this will automatically send an email to the people that have left the site and that have a card value greater or equal to one which means that they have something in their card and it's an hour after they abandoned their card or left the page, which again, kind of cool, but you can go even a step further and attach a coupon here as well as to further entice them to really buy. And again, you might not want to do that on the first abandoned card email because maybe they just had to get out of the subway, but they are going to buy it later. So by sending the first abandoned card email, you just remind them without the need of really having to give a discount. If they don't react to that, you might want to consider throwing in a coupon to kind of sweeten the deal and up the value of your offer a bit. 
I don't know, that's just my gut feeling. But of course, there is one thing you need to really understand, and that is the concept of email segmentation. You don't wanna be sending out 50% discount coupons to people that have just bought full price. So the logic says you're going to segment your list and say, hey, this discount code email, send it to these people, but don't send it to these people. And that's just an example of uh, segmentation. It could also be don't send this list of promotions to Quebec because for some reason you cannot run any promotions in Quebec. If you're from Quebec, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And Privy allows you to do a, quite a big variety of segmentation options. For example, you can segment your customer by their website behavior, and these conditions are based on how people interact with your site. For example, how often do they visit or which product do they view? And actually, the number of visits to the site, that metric can be really useful to you because if you sell a high ticket item, let's say over $1,000, and someone visits your site five times, you might want to use the Privy email flow to be like, hey, you visited five times, you're clearly interested. Do you wanna to talk to one of our sales rep? Now, of course, this doesn't work if you're selling a $15 item because you're not gonna start buying, paying sales reps to start calling everyone. That makes no sense. But for high ticket of value items, mm, there's something there. Okay, now you start getting the picture. It's important to own your media channels. I can use Privy to do this. I'm gonna capture as much information from my visitors as I can with Privy Capture. I'm gonna keep them engaged with emails, but I want an even higher smash. And for that, I'm going to text them because like I said before, everyone opens their text. Here, yet again, you're going to have their segmentation options that you can really take advantage of because you're going to be maybe running both channels at once, emails and texts, and you don't want the same message to be overlapped. So for example, you can maybe send out a text message to everyone that didn't open your email. Aha, uh -huh, now we're talking. Or maybe you're just way smarter than me and you figured out a much better way to use segmentation between text and email. But and a general rule, SMS has a better opening rate than email itself, and it has a number of benefits. So let me quickly show you how to set it up with Privy. It will be the last thing I'll bore you with because after that, you'll be an expert on how to do this yourself. Seriously, this is some stuff that like high grossing stores do over 100,000 a month. Usually the small stores, they just don't have the experience yet to do this and you know, they're not doing it. Okay, to get started, we're back on our dashboard here. You're going to click new broadcast text. And right here, basically before each text is going to show you your store name. And at the end, it's going to say reply, stop to unsubscribe, but you could basically put anything here. I do recommend, and I think I'm not a legal lawyer or something like fancy schmancy, but that you're supposed to, you have to put the stop unsubscribe option in. Anyway, for instance, you can put their names like, hey there, personalize the first name, Andrew. And it will say, hey there, Andrew, thanks for signing up to receive text messages. Now talking about a creative welcome text message. And you know, I challenge you to find something better. And by the way, if you have something better, put it in the comments down below. So, you know, maybe we can do some cool stuff and learn from each other. But once you finish writing the messages, you can click save changes and you can choose who you want to send it to. You can, again, add a coupon code if that's what you want. And once you saved everything, you can send it or you can even schedule it for later so you're not sending it at 1 a.m. because let's face it, you're doing this at 1 a.m., aren't you? So just go through the changes, click schedule, and now there you go. It is scheduled for a future date. All right, so last but not least, we're going to be talking about pricing because how much of this actually is going to cost you? And you have a $0 starter package. So if you're starting out and you really wanna nail this e-commerce thing, you should just start with the $0 one and get Privy installed ASAP. Now, important to remember with this plan is you can only have 100 mailable contacts and before you ask, yes, it is very common for these type of apps to charge by how big your email list is. So keep that in mind. And you cannot do newsletters, segmentation, and things like that. So important to keep in mind. If you wanna go a little bit more pro, you can go with the $15 plan per month. And frankly, here is everything that it has. One thing that you might notice is that this does not have the SMS text feature. 
For that, you're gonna have to go to the $45 a month plan, which again, still very reasonable. And then you can have up to 3000 email contacts, 500 textable contacts, and all of this, yada, yada, yada. For $45 a month, I mean, how much have you spent in your last Facebook ad campaign? Exactly. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. We do tons of Shopify related videos. Make sure to like, subscribe, but more importantly, give your opinion down in the comments. I love to read them. See you in the next one.